More than 200 people seeking asylum have arrived in Portland in just the last month. In all, there, there are about 65 families from Africa, most of whom are now staying at the Portland Expo. While some people question if these asylum seekers should be allowed into the United States, others are finding ways to help them. Rob Nesbitt joins us now with the story of one of the people lending a hand. Rob? Robin Peggy, she just graduated from Bonnie Eagle High School this month, but Julia Sweat knows that youth does not limit a person's ability to help, spending her summer collecting donations and using the money to fund her giving tree. Shut-ins, homeless people, asylum seekers. Now that summer is here, it's a great time to enjoy the warm weather lakeside at a camp. That's what Julia Sweat plans on doing at her camp on Wachick Lake in Standish. In between her time relaxing, enjoying the wildlife. A bald eagle. She's busy packing up boxes for a good cause. So I always put soap in one of them. That's really important. Donated to the organization she started called the Giving Tree of Maine. You always see people down there sitting on the roads. And Influenced by the amount of homeless people she sees in the Portland area. Drive around and you see the people on the streets and you're kind of like, you know, why, why are they there? How can we help them? Why aren't they getting the help that they need? And that was just something where I was like, all right, what can, what can we do for them? Julia asked for things like hygiene products, clothing, and food to fill the boxes that will be sent to people in need. Usually at like the homeless shelter and everything else, they can shower, but they might not have like their own soap. And Donors everything. send Julia items she sees a need for, and then she picks the organizations to receive and distribute them. They're also easy to reuse. It's not even just us, but it's like the community as a whole kind of coming together and saying, yeah, I can give you a pair of gloves or I can give you some socks. And that is just such a big deal to somebody else, even if it's just something so small from us. Might put crackers in there, some cookies. When you get to know Julia, it's no surprise that she puts the needs of others before her own. She is kind and caring. She has in 2016, she was recognized with a Teens Who Care Award by New Center Maine for her volunteer work. She was a teen trendsetter going to Buxton Elementary School to help kids with their reading. She also volunteers her time to help younger cheerleaders in her squad. Seeing other kids and they're struggling, they're new, it's important for me to try and help them to get where I am today. One of her longest running accomplishments has been the seven years she spent helping athletes during the Winter Special Olympics. Depending on their circumstances. Her work with the Giving Tree has been ramped up at the lake because of the increase of asylum seekers coming to Maine from Africa. Everything, you know, when they come over here, they're more focused on you know, where they're staying and not necessarily the small things that they might not realize that they need. She doesn't question why they are here or the politics of if they should be allowed in the country. She only looks for a way to help. I love meeting the people. I love meeting new people. Um, I also like hearing their stories. I hear stories about people just coming over and what they've kind of faced and it's just kind of takes me back a little bit. I'm like, what do you mean you survived all of this and all of that? You know, we don't see that over here. We don't you know, it, it's, we're very isolated, but we shouldn't be. Using a simple shoe box and donated items to make a difference. I hope this small box of love lifts your spirits with love and kindness. Anything is possible. Not wasting a single moment of her summer vacation at the lake. The biggest takeaway is just how the littlest things are impacting people so greatly. At the end of her busy summer, Julia will be headed to Florida to attend her first year of nursing school. Robin Peggy, she wants to continue to help people in the medical world. What an amazing young woman, and no surprise that she's heading into the nursing profession. Yeah, she's going to do great.